you too what is good it's your boy professor rich welcome back to the club channel you see i'm wearing my professor shades today and i actually just got done making the video but as soon as i got finished i made a subscriber request video so you know i take those very seriously i always get to them as soon as possible so i came right back down to the basement because i started from the bottom man and I made I made the request, so I'm making back-to-back -back videos today. And this subscriber request is from Gold Productions. And he asked me, yo, bro, could you make a video about getting women out your league? And yes, I can, bro. So shout out to you for finding my channel. And shout out to you for the video topic because it's a great topic. And I haven't really been thinking too much about these videos. I've been I've been one take Jakin in the the wise words of Larry June, man. And this is going to come from my heart, bro. So the first thing I'm going to say is I don't want to ever, ever hear you say a woman is out of your league, bro. You shouldn't even have that mindset. You got to work on your confidence. I'm not trying to play you either, my man. You got to work on your confidence. And when you look into the mirror, you got to know, feel, walk, and give off that aura that you are the shit, bro. And a woman should be in your league. You know what I'm saying? Because the problem with the social media, the Tinder, and how many simps and blue pill dudes are putting these women on pedestals, it makes them feel, and you guys are giving them too much power to make them feel that a dude, a regular dude, or someone that may not, might not be up to their particular... Uh, they might not meet their expectations. Their stats may be low. And that woman's point of view, it makes the woman feel as though that man is out their league. And I don't want to hear anybody. Like, I'm, this is coming from my heart, bro. Because I had to work on my self-confidence, too. I'm 6'8". Like, and people just automatically assume that I can I can get women based off how I look and how I carry myself. And that it, it takes time to build up to that. But... Bro, nah. I I don't know about how you feel about yourself personally, but I'm in league, I'm in a league of my own, bro. I'm in my whole I'm in my complete entire own lane. No one's in my league. You got to you got to pay tickets for this show. You know what I'm saying that's how you should feel about yourself. And I'm going to use a personal example. My last real girlfriend, I think this was last year. She was she was bad. She was beautiful too. And it it piggybacks off of the video I just made today that I don't know if I'm gonna post these in any particular order, but it's what can a woman bring to you other than the value of what's in between her legs? And I I'm using the example because I you know, every man with a beautiful woman, he likes to show her off. So we were walking or something. I came to visit her at work or something like that. And this this person came up and said, "Oh, that's your boyfriend." And she said, "Yeah, that's that's my that's my that's my husband." Cause you know she wanted to marry me and shit. And she said, "Oh," I said, "Oh, why you say that?" She said, "She she out your league, my man." And you know what? The first thing, didn't even like a second go by. She said, "No, nah, don't disrespect him. I'm out of his league. Uh, he's out of my league." That's what she said because she knew my energy. She knew my value. She knew my worth. And don't get me wrong, she was she was thorough. I I she was she was you know what I'm saying? She was like she was up there like on a on a, a rating scale, her stats were up to par. She she had high health points, you know what I'm saying? But you, you can't even have that mindset, my man. And I'm just going to get into, I guess, what to do if you're feeling as though a woman's out your league. The first thing you got to do is work on yourself, bro. Work on yourself and self-improve in every aspect of your life. I say this on almost all my videos. Mentally, financially, spiritually, uh, physically. Any aspect of your life that you can think of, man. Self-improve. Hit the gym. Get husky. You know what I'm saying? Do your 100 push-ups and 100 countries every morning. That's what I do 200 each every morning. Uh, read books, bro. 
perfect your perfect your craft. If you're not in a position right now where you started your career, establish some side hustles or something so that you get in bread other than an outside source of income. Really work on becoming the best version of yourself and no woman will be in your league. There won't be no more leagues for you anymore, bro. You will have the pick of the litter of who you want to bring into your life and who you want to share your life energy with. And that that goes for that goes for women too. But for for you my man, like really really just work on self-improving. And when I say that, I don't mean self-improve for one day. Go go to the gym one day. You can start like that, but really take this shit seriously, bro. For real. Really like work so hard that people think that you're crazy on self-improvement. Give up the necessary sacrifices that you need to do to elevate yourself to the next level of your life. Work as hard as your, your level of success should be the same value of you breathing. Just like that. You need to be you need to want to be successful as much as you want to breathe. I think Eric Thompson said that. And that that is like the perfect the perfect explanation of what your desire of success should be. And once you take that time and just work on yourself, and it's ironic, the the less that you are chasing women, the more women will come to you, bro. Just take a break from everything, social media, your vices, all your unhealthy habits, and just strictly focus on becoming the best gold production you can be my man and you will be surprised on the new energies and the new people and the new things you will attract that you didn't before when you were vibrating on a lower level and i don't know i don't i can't speak on your position or where what level of life that you're at right now i don't know how old you are i don't know you personally but i'm just giving you advice that i wish someone gave me i had to come across this on my own so bro for real don't ever think that a woman's out your league or that you can't get any woman because of how she looks or what she does bro you can get any i can get any woman that i truly want to i know at the end of the day the woman makes the choice but you should just have that energy in every aspect of your life just like I was talking to uh, someone the other day and they were talking about they want to they weren't happy in their life and they wanted to apply for a job. But they said, I don't think I have enough experience to get the job. The f like the f you should know the value you bring into everything and everywhere and every person that you are around. That's the that's the confidence you should have in your own potential. Like when I say when you look into the mirror, you ever see that uh the picture of the cat looking into the mirror and seeing a lion? That's how you should be. I have a video on being comfortable in your own skin, so you should check it out. But when I look into the mirror, I see myself presently, yeah, but more importantly, I see the future version of myself. I see myself in my tailored suits, I see myself with a crown. I have a whole bunch of king king theme tattoos on me bro because i see myself as a king i see myself as royalty and i don't say that in a cocky way i don't say it as though like people are beneath me because i'm probably one of the most humble people you'll ever meet and this is what people tell me i didn't even know i was humble until several people on a daily basis told me like how humble i am and the importance that my energy brings to them on a daily basis but bro like really Really work on building your self-confidence and walking with confidence and acting like you have confidence, bro. I have a video on the importance of confidence I haven't dropped yet, but you got to walk like you have a big dick, bro. You have to give off big dick energy. You have to give off that confident aura, and people will pick up on that. And don't fake it. You know what I'm saying? Don't fake it until you make it. Really live it. Be it. You know what I'm saying? Like, live, breathe, eat, sleep. See confidence, dog. You should surround that shit all all over your life. Write a, a post-it note. So it's the first thing you see if you wake up if you have to. Do affirmations. You know what I'm saying? 
and it will really help you. So that's my video topic for today, my man. I hope that it was able to help you in some way, shape, or form. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment. I take all video requests. And you know what I'm saying? Be the fuck easy. Appreciate you for watching. Peace.